Senator David Agondoa is on the sign and language interpretation beat. Now, the Senate Public Accounts Committee has declared Turkana County a crime scene of a mismanagement of public funds and stalled projects worth billions of shillings during the reign of former Governor Josphat Nanok. The committee was shocked that despite the county receiving at least 100 billion shillings during the period, there was nothing to show for it apart from questionable stalled projects that have consumed billions of shillings. And to this, Vincent Odwar tells us more. Members of the Senate committee accompanied by Trukana Governor Jeremiah Lomorukai towards some of the projects to ascertain their status. However, they were shocked when they visited this building that is supposed to host the office of the governor and the headquarters of the county government. Eight years later, it is not yet complete despite being allocated 800 million shillings. For now, the lifts, electric work and wiring has not been done and the contractor says it will need another 20 million shillings to make that happen. How do you pay? What is surprising is that the building has been fit with air conditioner machines at a cost of 84 million shillings, despite the lack of electricity in the building that should have been used to even test the air conditioner machines to find out whether they are working in the first place. This project was supposed actually to be completed uh, with about 600 million Kenya shillings. But it was varied to over 829 million. Where, where is that portion of the money that was meant for electrical, electrical works? The current governor is now forced to operate in a dilapidated office block that is also housing the county offices, which is a big mismatch with the 100 billion shillings the county has received for the last 10 years. That is not all. This building was supposed to be the official residence of the governor, but it has stalled after consuming 206 million shillings for the construction of the foundation and the ground floor. And now the county has been informed that it will need to cough out another 90 million shillings to complete the project. Despite the project consuming more than 200 million shillings, already the building has developed cracks. The committee believes these projects were being used to siphon public funds. The state of financial mismanagement that we have seen in Turkana over the last 10 years, I think we could reach the conclusion <coughs> that this is a crime scene. How can it be that after 10 years, 100 billion shillings later, we are just talking of offices for the big men, houses for the big men, we are not talking about the solutions that we have delivered uh, for the people of Turkana. Other stalled projects worth billions of shillings include the official residence of the Speaker of the County Assembly and part of the County Assembly's chambers. Now the County Governor Lomorukai has been left to carry the baggage of completing the questionable stalled projects of his predecessor. If you go around this county and try even to get the value for money that was meant for irrigation schemes in this, uh, this county, you can't, uh, this county or people of Turkana cannot account for that money. There is no serious project except a few that were uh, maybe done by NIB during uh, those uh, past uh, days. Turkana former Governor Josphat Nanok is now the Deputy Head of Chief of Staff at State House. Trukana County residents are now waiting to see whether those county officials who approved the release of the monies and those who squandered the monies will be brought to book as promised by the Senate Committee. Vincent Odor, NTV, in Lodwa, Trukana County. Well, meanwhile, President William Ruto says...